to Detroit Sports Jersey with your host Will and co-host Mr. DC. Coming to you live on 88.1 WHPR and every Sunday 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call-in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at Detroit Sports Jersey. And now. Ladies and gentlemen, straight sports talk. No professionals here. Here's your host, Will, with co-host Mr. DC. And yeah. All right, welcome to Detroit Sports Jersey, Sunday 9th of 2014. The Sunday after the sorriest Super Bowl I ever, ever saw in my life. DC, talk to me, baby. What happened? <laughs> welcome to the show, DC. What's up? First off, well, what's up? Second of all, uh, I don't know about that Super Bowl. That was not a good Super Bowl. Cause I thought it was going to be a game myself, but come to find out, it wasn't. I don't know. It was the sorriest game ever. We'll talk about that when we come back from this break. The Olympics is jumping off. So much garbage is going on over there with them athletes. Um, I checked out a little snowboarding. Last night, actually, you know, I kind of like that in sports. Uh, man, that's a dangerous sport. <laughs> but, but I checked out a little bit of that last night. <clears throat> so much going on in the NBA. Uh, the big story, of course, today in college basketball is uh, that boy Smart, uh, Marcus Smart, pushing the fan. Did you see that? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, you know, we'll get off into that. I'll bring you up ahead on that, what's going on with that this morning. And, um, We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. And yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Design by T. Cole. Designs by T. Cole is a watch designed for you to carry your medication and reminds you to take it all in secrecy. For more information and updates, Facebook at Designs by T. Cole. That's the letter T, C-O-L-E. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by MintSportsPro.com. If you're looking for a gift and happen to be a sports fan, MintSportsPro.com. They have the newest 3D laser crystal products and limited edition sports memorabilia. All of their products are officially licensed by the leagues. These guys literally use a laser to engrave your team inside their crystals. Available at MintSportsPro.com. All products are lasered in the USA and are made by hand. Again, that's www.mintsportspro.com sportspro.com or 1-888-633-6474. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 881-WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk. No professionals here. Now back to host Will and Mr. DC. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey Live. Call in number 313 313-868-8, 868 8, 313-868-0331. All right, DC, it's the week after the Super Bowl. Yeah, there wasn't nothing super <laughs> about that bowl. No, nothing, like that. nothing. Matter of fact, let me start off by saying congratulations. The Seattle, the Seahawks, and the city of Seattle. Right. So when they you know, first so I, you know, I man up. You know, they're big rival of the 49ers, a team I love dearly. <laughs> but I man up. Congratulations. Shake your hand. You did an outstanding job. Defense. I ain't seen no defense like that in years. I mean, they just clamped down on Manning and the boys. I was, I was kind of pissed off at Manning. Twelve <laughs> seconds into the game, Seahawks up two zip. You know, I, didn't, I didn't even believe it at first. I didn't believe it at first. Because I was on my way to my mom's house, and my, my boy was like, yeah, man, they scored it. It was 2-0. I'm like, no, it's not. He's like, man, yes, it is. Fastest scoring Super Bowl history. Oh, and they man. never looked back after that. It was a wrap after that. The game was, they, they, they should have just walked off. The, it was a wrap. And then here come Peyton Manning. 
when a reporter asked him, was that embarrassing? Now this guy spent four years at the University of Tennessee. He should know the definition of an embarrassment. He thought that's an insult. No, Peyton, the insult was us sitting there watching that garbage that you put on. And you couldn't score a touchdown to save your life. And your defense was just like, well, yeah, we're not going to come play today. And <laughs> ESPN, the guru, and all these other suckers has the nerve to say that if you won that game, you would go down as the greatest quarterback no, in history. No, your playoff record no, is 11 and 12. No. So if you'd have won that, you'd have been 12 and 11. How is that the greatest? You see what he, happened to the greatest? Yeah, because of his, his his regular season performance. Oh, he, he's an all-star in the regular he, season. But the playoffs, playoff, he, he sucks. sucks. <laughs> That's the bottom line. The Come bottom on, line. Google, call in, baby. I want to hear from you. Don't, don't go from a scream to a whisper now. Even though you picked the Seahawks to win, I grant it, but you had the nerve. You, ESPN, he's the greatest. He's the great. Let me let me, let me point out a few things about my greatest quarterback of all time. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Here we you go. Montana. Now that's who I'm st sticking with and stopping with. I don't have to go no further. I was gonna take the same Terry. Now here go the greatest quarterback of all time, as according to the so-called experts, <laughs> Peyton Manning. He's 11 and 12 in the playoffs. My boy Joe Montana. Is 16 and 7 with four Super Bowls. Hello? Hello? I ain't even bothered to look up nobody. I, mean, I stop right there. You can't beat them numbers. Oh, I stop right numbers. there. Let me tell you something right now about me. I granted, I'm not the, you know, I don't know the stats of who caught a touchdown in <laughs> Super Bowl three with 10 <laughs> point seconds. I don't know who ran for 26 yards. In Super no, Bowl that, four, no. but you know what I do? The number I do know: wins and losses. Wins and losses. I know that number. I know that too. For him, for people to sit up and that was an insult. And I picked them to win, but they insulted my boy. And if he no, won, but they said, but they said if if Peyton did win, he'd be under. He'd be under Joe Montana. He's always gonna be <laughs> under Joe Montana. Always. He's one and three in the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's not a good number. What was that one and two? That's not one and three. One and three, yeah, one and three in the Super Bowl. My boy sitting up here, Super Bowl four and no. But he's the great. That was a I man. I was ooh. You know what? That had me on a level of pissed off like I was when they had the nerve to call George Zimmerman a celebrity boxing match. What an insult, man. Come on. What? What? I don't want to talk about that. Yes, man, please. Get out of here. And you know what's for? You know what that thing that made me? But that shit, no black person had even responded. No, I'm not fighting him. He's no celebrity. No. They shouldn't even have addressed that. That was an I mean, insult. But they said he wanted to. He, that was his dreams. He want to fight a crackhead. <laughs> they, they found a crackhead to fight. Let's keep it real. Yeah, and the people, you got a killer and a crackhead yeah. in the ring. And the bad part, they, they threw up a whole lot of people's name in the A's. Like, no, nah, I don't want them. Yeah, I know. No, 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 the game stepped up. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. He, hey, look, and hey, Zimmerman, he picked Kanye out of everybody. Man. And Kanye name wasn't even in the hat. Man, that was, that, I mean, that was a man, He's a celebrity. But getting back to this Super Bowl, congratulations to Malcolm Smith, the MVP, which I thought the whole I, defense should have got I, that I MVP. Got that I one. think the whole defense, he didn't do nothing. I mean, he got, he got, that, he got that one in the seven. Yeah, yeah but the whole defense should have got that um, MVP. But he's 24 years old. He got it. You know, I ain't taking nothing away from him. Congratulations to him, you know. And um, I, I, I think actually that was, like, I think that interception was like a key moment in the game. Yeah, it was, yeah. Because if, if if he didn't intercept that pass, you would never know what happened to, like the next play. Congratulations also another history making, Russell Wilson, the second black oh, yeah, quarterback exactly. ever to win the Super Bowl. As y'all know, Doug Williams was the first with the Redskins. Yeah. So, you know, congratulations to him. He went young, too, in his second year out of college. Man, whoa. Boy, he, mm, 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 he made Peyton. Boy, they made Peyton Manning look like a fool. <laughs> I just can't get off of that. Guru, where you at, baby? Call in, huh? 
Where you at? He's not gonna call him. You know. Well, he might call him, but I, I don't know. He, he, if he call him, you know he gonna be going. Now, one thing Peyton Manning, I grant, he got over my boy. He got more yards, but I don't care about that. Like you said, that's all star, regular season. I don't care about that. I care about winning losses and championships. That's what matters. That's what that's you know, what gets you in the Hall of Fame. You know what these that's what gets you in the Hall of Fame. other numbers get you, get them players, bonus money. It don't mean nothing, nothing. So you can sit back and throw out all the stats, Peyton did this, Peyton, but he has not won the big one but once. He's one in three. Hello. Hello, people. And that, and that one he won, that was kind of a fluke, too, because he went up a bit against a backup. <laughs> now, okay, <laughs> I got the ten teams that they got, you know, winning the Super Bowl in. Next 2015, the course, the Seahawks, Broncos, 49ers, Patriots, Packers, Saints, Bengals, Panthers, Colts, and the Falcons. Them are the teams that's hoping to win it all. The odds are better than them. Lions <laughs> nowhere on that. <laughs> on that list. And where they always can wait to next year, you ain't nowhere on this list. You're probably at the bottom of the list if I chose to have dug deeper, but I didn't. Yeah, yeah, they be at the bottom. Yeah, they at the bottom. Yeah, the bottom. About to lose soon. I'm telling you, he out of here. I don't care what nobody say. You hear it first. I don't care what nobody say. He is out of here. You never know. He might stay. For what? I don't know. <laughs> for <laughs> what? He be a lion, man. Okay, I tell you, if he stay, he's staying for money only. He's not staying to win no championship. I'm sorry. If he stays, Sue is staying for money only. Now, I'm not saying he needs it and he's hurting. Why would you stay here? That's Cliff Avery. Cliff Avery gave up uh, $17 million go to, Seattle. to go to Seattle to win a Super Bowl. Seventeen. Who leaves $17 million on the table? So obviously, Cliff is doing okay in money, money-wise. He's in it. He was in it to win a championship. He's playing football to win, and it speaks for itself. Went to a number one defense. So stay. Is, I'm telling you. You're not going to win nothing here. <laughs> oh, they got the black man coach. It's so what? It's the organization. So what? You rooting against the black man? I ain't rooting against I'm rooting against everybody in the NFL <laughs> but San Francisco. <laughs> well, damn, they had the Pink Panther coaching the team. You know uh, They ain't got nothing the to do with it. I don't care who the they had. Coach. <laughs> about, oh, you rooting against the brother. You Why you rooting against the brother? Well, that's brothers on the 49ers. Yeah. Huh? Whole league, league full of brothers. Uh, whole league. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, me personally, I'm going to root for him just to see if he do, does oh. good. But, I, I, but for real, I, you got to root for him just because a lot I'm of people are not rooting for him to fail. Him. I'm not rooting for him to fail. It wouldn't bother me the Lions got to the playoffs. It wouldn't bother me. I'm not rooting for them. I don't care who the coach is, who's the owner. I just don't like their organization. I'm a big 49. Ben Smith won since 1980. I put it out there. Yes. And that year, we were sorry. <laughs> we were sorry. I think we went 5 and 10, something like that. You know? But I didn't abandon my team. No, you can't abandon now, my team. As a kid, which I was still a kid then, uh, about 5, 6, in the 70s, I was a Steelers fan. I ain't going to lie. I love Terry Bradshaw, Lynn Swan, John Starworth. Yeah. Frank O'Hare, Steel Curtin, Mean Joe Green, Jack Ham, all them boys. Loved them all. But for some reason, I just switched over to the 49ers and they ain't left since then. So this don't have nothing to do with, you know, rooting against a brother. I don't have nothing to do with it. I'll put it to you like this. The 49ers had a brother coaching, Mike Singletary. Couldn't one stand of, him. One of the best linebackers. Loved him as a linebacker with the one Bears. Of the best linebackers in the league. The best. Yeah. Coaching my Niners, man, I could get him out of there. Get yeah, he him wasn't, out. Yeah, he wasn't a good fit for that team as far as a head coach. Like, if he, if he was like a defensive coordinator, yeah. But as a head coach, he was not what good What coach them. pulled down their pants, torch the team, and tell them to kiss his black? Who does that? <laughs> only, only, I think he had problems. Yeah, he had problems, yeah, all right, problems. being the coach of my team. <laughs> Seaver, I'm not Seaver, but um, uh, the boy that came here, 
uh, Steve Mariucci. Steve Mariucci. I didn't like him as a 49ers coach. Get him out of there. I didn't like Jeff Garcia as the quarterback. I didn't like Sean Hill as the quarterback, which he's here now in Detroit as a backup. Sorry. So I, I keep mine real with my team. I, I, if I don't like you, got to go. But look, but when but when they had Steve Mariucci and, and Jeff Garcia, they, they got y'all to play. Well, they got y'all to the playoffs. Don't mean <laughs> we win a Super Bowl. No, nah, y'all ain't win a Super Bowl. Exactly. Don't mean. I, got, I mean, they got you out to the second round of the Super Bowl. Me. I mean, second round of the playoffs that year. I still didn't like him. <laughs> like, I'll give you a pro. I'm packing my man bags as we speak because he's on the verge of getting out. I'm running him out of town. That's Kaepernick. I love it. I doubt he, it. He, he, I, I doubt it. I love his leg. He can, he, but he hurt us with his arm. He, he, he can win games with his leg. Who you going to get to replace him? I need football, Aww. baby. He the same. You might as well say he's the same as Kaepernick. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah. I don't know, man. Maybe the brother from um, what's this? Uh, Kentucky, Louisville. Uh, um, uh, Bridgewater. Yeah, Bridgewater. Maybe he can come in and do something. You know, I don't know. It is what it is. But all right, that's how it's enough Super Bowl talk right there. Because yeah, halftime uh, show was good. I kind of watched the halftime show. Yeah. Even though, even though, uh, what's the other group, Red Hot yeah, Chili, pulled a Millie Vanilli. Did you hear about that? No. Well, none of their instruments that. plugged up. They pulled the vil- Millie Vanilli. They did the close-up shot with the guitar. Wasn't nothing plugged up. <laughs> oh, they said, oh, they did. <laughs> they did wrong. But Bruno Mars, congratulations to him. You know, he, he did, did his, he thing. his thing. You know, you know them get, people don't get paid for that? Well, it's like they look at it like a 13, cause they, I think they only stay like 13, 15 minutes. They look at that like a 13 to 15 minute commercial for them. Because actually his album shot up to number one after the, um, oh, Super, oh, yeah. after the Super Bowl. He, he, did, so, yeah. he did his thing. Now his ticket sales going to go up now. Yeah, so. He did the Super Bowl. Your, your ticket sales going to go up now. No, he did a little James Brown, a little Michael Jackson. <laughs> he was doing his thing. I saw a little Prince in there. <laughs> You know, so um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, we'll take a quick commercial basketball, like I said, of course, watching ESPN. You've seen Marcus Smart of um, Oklahoma State push the fans. And we'll talk about that. We'll, you know, is was he wrong? Was he right? We'll discuss that after we come back. Break from my sponsor. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. And yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Design by T. Cole. Designs by T. Cole is a watch designed for you to carry your medication and reminds you to take it all in secrecy. For more information and updates, Facebook at Designs by T. Cole. That's the letter T, C O L E. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by MintSportsPro.com. If you're looking for a gift and happen to be a sports fan, MintSportsPro.com. They have the newest 3D laser crystal products and limited edition sports memorabilia. All of their products are officially licensed by the leagues. These guys literally use a laser to engrave your team inside their crystals. Available at MintSportsPro.com. All products are lasered in the USA and are made by hand. Again, that's www.mintsportspro.com or 1-888-633-6474. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313 313- 868-0331, live streaming at FM 88.1, WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now, back to host Will and Mr. DC. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey, Sunday the 9th, 2014, the Sunday after the Super Bowl. Before we move on, DC, to this uh, situation, Oklahoma State and Marcus Smart, uh, 
gonna go back to the Super Bowl for a minute. This guy gonna tell me about the score was forty three to eight, right? Yeah. He gonna tell me that wasn't no blowout. I said, gee money. Gee, that was a blowout. Gee that money. was the blowout. <laughs> That was a blowout. Not only was it a blowout, a blowout. Let me, let me, let me, I ran this down to him too, right? The Seahawks scored in six different ways. They scored, they had a safety, a field goal, a one yard run, an interception, a kickoff return of 87 yards, and a pass interception for a TD. Why that ain't no blowout? <laughs> what, what what Super Bowl was you watching? Well, you must have been watching the History Channel, old Super Bowl. Gee, buddy, that, that, that was a blowout. That was a blowout. That was a blowout. Now, down in uh, Houston, Texas, there's this uh, furniture store called Gallagher, Gallagher, oh, I can't even get it, uh, Gallery Furniture. The owner, it's something like the art band up here. Mm -hmm. The owner lost $7 million because he bet it on. Oh, why? He bet it on. Why um, do that? Houston. But then what, how he lost the money. Anybody who spent $6,000 or more on furniture mm -hmm. and had it delivered by kickoff <laughs> will receive their furniture for free. So he had about 1,000 people to participate in that. Then there's one fan, he came in there and spent 30000 mm -hmm. So he gets that back. But plus they keep to keep the furniture for free. But he said that ain't nothing but like a 5% in his annual sale. You hungry over there, boys? <laughs> <laughs> he said, so he lost seven big ones, like it wasn't no thing. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, he'll make it back, so, I mean. And then what was your name that's coming out there with that huggy bear fur <laughs> coat on? Oh, yeah, he's, I was like, what, what is that? What was that all what about? That? What, did that, what did that come with a cat like in three holes, Joe? <laughs> no, it did. You know it did. Come on, I, that, I was like, who told him to come out with so, that what, fur coat? Joe, what was that all about, Joe? I like nobody told somebody, Joe, don't go outside. Don't go out there with that. <laughs> don't go out. Oh, he gonna go out there and like that. <laughs> All right, okay. Like somebody go out, get Joe off the field. Oklahoma State and Texas Tech played last night. The biggest story Oklahoma State lost. Of course, Marcus Sparks supposed to he's he's to actually stayed in college. Yeah, he would have been a number one pick. Not overall, but he'd have been a number one pick. But he stayed in to work on his game, which I really take my hat off to him. But the big story about this is with about 6.2 seconds left, he goes up for a block. He falls into the stands and gets into it with a fan. He said the fan, which was a white guy, gentlemen, which actually he's a Texas Tech. Well, they had Texas Tech or they had Oklahoma State? Uh, no, they was playing that Texas Tech. Okay. So he's supposed to be this fanatic fan where he followed them all around. Even though they was at home, he's a big supporter and booster. Marcus Smart, and i seen the video tape. You can really tell the way he jumped up that the guy did say something. Now, it's reporting now this morning on ESPN that people around heard him call, he called him the N-word. So then he shoved the fan. Yeah, he didn't get kicked out of the game. It was only about 6.2 seconds left, but he got a technical. So, question is, do you think, and, and of course, of the, how the ESPN and other news agencies do, they call them. We had to be dragged into it. <laughs> Detroit with the malice at the palace. <laughs> they had, oh yeah, they had to bring that Why video. Bring that oh, they had Why to bring, they bring that, that video. Back? Hey, but you know what though? <laughs> Why did they bring when that When they back? showed that video, man, I forgot how they was knocking fans out on the Yeah, they was knocking fans out. <laughs> man, I saw this chubby I, I, kid. Yeah. Remember that chubby yeah. kid that ran out there and tried to swing on the plant? My man was like, damn, it just dropped him. Oh. Yeah. I saw it. I saw that. I was like, oh, wow. I was like, I forgot all about that. I'm going to have to go check that video out again. And I was actually I was watching that game I was live watching, I was watching when it TV jumped yeah. off. I, I didn't, I didn't watch it on no news. No, I was actually I was watching. watching that game at work. <laughs> oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right. so the question to you, DC, do you feel, I mean, that he should have backed off? You know, come tell you some of the things people don't realize about sports. Now, I don't know how it is in the college level, but on the pro level, the coach and players can actually have fans removed. Yeah, they can. You know, they yeah. can. They, I don't know how the college level work or whatever, but I know pros they can for fans. I think college is like that too. You know, but, but the police gotta escort them out. But see, one thing you, I, I tried to explain, you know, this morning, 
that man, them, these athletes, like for instance, you go back to the Sherman thing, man, they so jacked up, they so pumped, they trying to win, yeah. the adrenaline is flowing. You just can't do that at that time. You know, I'm, I'm not I'm not condoning what he did, but I'm telling you, man, if you see the tape, you can see that he did say something. The way he jumped up and his reaction was. He didn't jump up like, my man was like, oh, I'm glad y'all losing. Right. He, you know, that, wasn't no, that ain't no type of nothing to jump up to. They hear that he all the up, time. Like he jumped up ready to fight. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm glad you lost, you, you know. Right. And I believe he said it. Not condoning what he put his hand on, but I'm just on one of DC. What you think about athletes and fans getting involved like that? I think it's I think it's bad because like he said, my man called him the N word and he shouldn't have been that close on the on the court to call him that. No, no, no. Well, he fell up into the. My man was actually he stood up on the seat and he what you know he he fell into play. Uh, Marcus Smart. He was going up for a block. And like I said, he stumbled up uh -huh. into him. You know, and, into my man. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know, we're not direct, but you know where he was sitting at. Right. You know, like right in front of him. Right. You know, so he stood up, you know, he said he called him the N-word, you know. So, I don't know, man. Like I said, that, I can understand him doing it, but I, I'm not saying I condone him putting his hand I, on I don't condone it either, but, you know, probably, like you said, his adrenaline is probably yeah, flowing. Yeah, man, come on, these athletes, man. Yeah. They, you if know, you say something out of line, so, yeah, you're going to get your hands put on you. So, I mean, I don't like what he did. Was He shouldn't have did it, but, I mean, my man shouldn't have called him that. What you think, for Let me get your opinion. I know you don't do much sports here, but <laughs> what do you think about athletes and fans? Uh, you seen the malice at the palace. You see, uh, you uh, fans, football fans, they walk out, give the fans the finger. I mean, give me your professional opinion over there. My professional opinion would be well. With this particular situation, I think it would. Uh, it's better to fight words with words instead of attacking somebody or pushing them. Um, so, I mean, because he was offended by what this guy said, most people would be. But, you know, I, I think a better thing would have been to get to ask him to have been kicked out of the um, stadium. So the you arena, think he would have asked him to be removed? Yeah, because I think that would have been, you know, something better. He wouldn't have gotten in trouble then. I mean, he's, what, suspended for a game or there he might possibly be right fined or something like that. Oh, well, they ain't going to get fired because they don't get paid. You know, oh, that, that, that's that college. But okay, yeah, yeah, that ain't that ain't happening. I mean, they might suspend him for. They gonna game. get some, it's gonna one game. He gonna get he gonna get one game, maybe two. But I know one is coming. I mean, if he had just said something back to the guy, do you think he would have gotten suspended? No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. You know. So I mean, and I think it would have sent more of a message maybe to the fan if he had gotten kicked out of there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but like I you said, it's like what six point two seconds. Yeah, it was just you know. So, I mean. Or maybe banned from the the place, you know, from coming back there. I don't know, something different. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's like I said, I don't condone it, but I understand. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, I can understand it too. You know, yeah. you know, in the heat of the moment, you, you know, hurling racial slurs. Right. You know what I'm saying. Which you shouldn't have said in the first Exactly, place. you know. And like I said, I'm not condoning what the young man did, you know. Right. And so, you know, I'll give you another perfect example. Right? He's just another thing people feel. These are young kids, man. Now, let's say that was what's to happen to Kobe right now. I don't think Kobe, Kobe would have done Kobe probably would have had him removed. Yeah, Kobe would have had him removed. You know what I'm saying? LeBron probably, you know what I'm saying? Because they they're older. They're older. They mature right. now. They grown men. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I'm not saying they might not have done that when they was young. With them, them two never went to college anyway. No. They went straight from high school. high school. You know, so, you know, they got to look in what's the fan drunk. You know, and then I went back and looked at the tape. I actually saw a black lady sitting behind, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, fan. You know, so I don't know. I'm, you know, putting hands, you know, everybody said there's no, never no justification. But then again, you just can't run up on nobody and just right. think you can just. I mean, if, it, if you, you got know, video evidence of what happened, then you can tell why he did it. I mean, if you want to read his lip, you can see him pull like he called me up. He called me, a, right. you know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, a combination with that man and the way he jumped up, now it's being reported on ESPN this morning that, you know, that's what, you know. That's what my man said. Yeah, that he, you know, they still, they, people around him heard him say that. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of investigation going on. Like I said, I don't condone nobody putting their hands on nobody, but I don't condone nobody just jump up in your face 
and say they what whatever they right. want to say. say right. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't believe you know you just jump all up in my face. And especially, you just in the, say, especially in the heat of yeah. like, the game or the moment. You know, like whatever you say to me, I might have to fire off on you just like my man did. So I mean, because I was a big preacher man of telling my kids growing up that don't let. So what they talk about you? They still tell, tell me this. I know what you gonna say. They talk about Jesus Christ. Yes, they and they still talking about him. Right. He and didn't everybody in the world love him? <laughs> True. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Ain't, and everybody, today don't nobody. Everybody, everybody still don't yeah, love him. Everybody don't love Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So and ain't none of us better. Than Jesus. So so what? So it's 26 letters in the alphabet. So what? They put it together. So so long they don't put their hands on you. That's all that matters. So. But in that type of situations, like for instance, the Ron Artest, the models at the palace, when he, my man threw the cup at him, now that right there, that right there, I could have done that one. Oh, that one right there? Yeah. Oh, you I'm throw a, a cup in my face? That was a full cup. Man, please. <laughs> that, was a full, that was a full cup. You probably beer. spit in it too. Oh, dog, it's on. Especially that, that was a real big heated moment of that. Now, the rest of the fans that chose to come out there and jump in it, G Money, you going out there fighting an athlete, <laughs> you out of shape, gut down on the floor, you running out there like you done had some serious training, probably drunk, you know, he, you, you want to get into he, you it. You come running your chubby butt out there. And then you you this guy knocked, standing six, nine and muscles just on top out, of muscles. You get knocked <laughs> out on the court, laid out. You know, that's, that's on you, G. Yeah. I don't have nothing to do with that. That's strictly on you. I wouldn't have ran out there. No. I'm, I'm not running up to no athletes that's training. Huh? Nah, I mean, I wouldn't do it either. Oh, boy, oh, come on, man. This big giant. <laughs> big giant. <laughs> slamming, just, you know, he's slamming with his feet, and here you running out there. You going to stick up for the, uh, <laughs> for, for the guy you don't even know. Hey, you know, you know how these people are, man. They always want to get into something. All right, let's take another uh, commercial break here. When we come back, talk some NBA. Pistons, they on a little win streak here. They only half a game out the playoff group, final playoff position, which is that's a mess within itself, too. You know, so we'll get off into that. We'll discuss. I don't know if you've seen this, D.C. Uh, I think this is Thursday. One day last week, the Lakers beat who they play in Cleveland. Five oh, yeah. On four. <laughs> you know, and the Pistons can barely beat five on five. <laughs> but here they Lakers, they got four. I will get off into that. I was playing that when we come back. We'll be back after a word from our sponsors. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. And yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Designs by T. Cole. Designs by T. Cole is a watch designed for you to carry your medication and reminds you to take it all in secrecy. For more information and updates, Facebook at Designs by T. Cole. That's the letter T C O L E. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by MintSportsPro.com. If you're looking for a gift and happen to be a sports fan, MintSportsPro.com. They have the newest 3D laser crystal products and limited edition sports memorabilia. All of their products are officially licensed by the leagues. These guys literally use a laser to engrave your team inside their crystals. Available at MintSportsPro.com. All products are lasered in the USA and are made by hand. Again, that's www.MintSportsPro.com or 1-888-633-6474. You're listening to Detroit Sports Jersey Live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. 
Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk, no professionals here. Now, back to host Will and Mr. D.C. All right. Excuse me. All right. Welcome back to Detroit Sports Journey. Sitting up here with DC. I'm your host, Will. All right, DC. Thank um, you. Before we get off into the um, NBA, we've got the uh, 2014 Winter Games Olympics going on over in Russia. I'm going to give you a quick medal count here and see where the United States stands. As of right now, we have two golds, one bronze, and three medals total. Norway is in the lead. Two gold, one silver, and three bronze. Give them a grand total of six. Neverland, two gold, one silver, one bronze with a total of four. But the big story over there, that ain't the gold medals. <laughs> it's the service. What they doing to them athletes. Yeah, dig this. What we got going over there? No light bulbs. Did you did you see uh <laughs> did you see the bob sled? Um, tear the hole in the bathroom wall to get out. Did you see that? <laughs> man, he went in there and took a shower. The door locked. He couldn't get out. So he man, a big hole in the wall. Like the bathroom <laughs> door around. He, he said, man, I got somewhere to be. <laughs> I mean, that's just, man, it's, I mean, it's just sad over there what's going over there. They don't have no pillows, no running water, stray oh, yeah. dogs over there. Some of the rooms ain't ready, broken handles. Um, uh, and, I, and you know what I heard them like told? Uh, the water is yellow. Ugh. Yeah, the water is yellow. Uh, they videotaping people taking showers. The Russians are planted uh, cameras. cameras in the rooms. That's terrible, man. And they say they, they told them don't have the Olympics over there in Russia. Look. They spent fifty billion dollars. They gonna be mad. You mean to tell me you don't have no pillows? <laughs> <laughs> no running water. I mean, who was running no at the lights. Detroit City Council? Did I say that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Did I say that? Oh, <laughs> I thought it the City Council. Ain't oh, that how we do? I like oh. that. Ain't what we do here. <laughs> Can't speak on that. You get a project, give you fifty million dollars, and they come back a year later. What happened to the project? Well, we don't. Hey, we, 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 we spent that somewhere else. Uh, What's more important than that? <laughs> and what about the, over at the Olympics? The toilets to sit by each other. They got two toilets. That's how the toilets are set up. You know, we have to sit side by side. Not nothing in between. No, ain't no wall. Ain't no wall. wall. Nothing. No. Project. Nothing. That's, that's, that's nasty. Exactly. That's nasty. Exactly. That is nasty. Man, they, I, you know, I think they blew it on this one. They, they blew did. it on this they one. Did. I just hope the Olymp you know, the athletes get back safe and sound. All this terrorist threat and, you know, it's just crazy over there, man. It's, ah, it's ugly over there. Sad, man. And they told them don't go over there because Russia is not a place to be if you an American. They and mess around and keep you over there. They even, um, some of the athletes' family members even, um, the athletes told their family members, don't even come over here. Don't even I come over here. Of course, they're going to have tighter, they're going to have tighter security, um, before the athletes, I mean, you know, for the athletes more than they, they can't yeah, do that with the family. Right. Matter of fact, I was watching, um, Good Morning America this morning and one of the reporters, like, he was out walking around. He did not see not one American walking on the streets. Not one. Because they know. It's like they mess around and kidnap They blew this one, man. And they you going to come back. They going to lose a lot of them. They going to lose a lot of money off the Olympics this year. Um, I watched, like I said, I watched some snowboarding last night. I might check out some a few more events today. I'll see how, you know, things go. But, you know, Winter Olympics, man, hey, that's, that's some dangerous sport right there. It really is. I mean, they be flipping, man, in the air, twisting and turning. And ah, I think I'm going to try that. Man, that's <laughs> great. I mean, they, you know, then they going down one uh, ramp, boom, and the air come down, boom. They, I think they go, like, hit three ramps in a row, man. I'm like, man, that's crazy, for real. For real, that is crazy. But they be doing it. They be doing it. So hopefully the United States can step up their game. Let me see, where is Russia at? Do they have any? They at the bottom. They only got one medal. And that's a bronze. 
You know, they happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> they happy uh, with that one. All we need is one. You know, but the big, you know, you know, you know, the big thing everybody waiting on is the hockey. I can't go. Hockey and basketball. Yeah, but well, basketball, they don't play basketball. They, that's the winter. They do that in the summer Olympics. They don't play basketball in the winter. They do the snowmobile and all that, you know, yeah. hockey, you know, skiing. You know, Lindsey Vaughn, of course, ain't in it. So I think I got something to do with Tiger Woods snowboard. Anyway, I was, uh, anyway, let's go keep on track here. <laughs> All right, let's get to the NBA, DC. Pistons, let me pull up. Let me show you how sad this is, the Eastern. I don't know who's going to these games, man. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Now, check this out. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Now, check this out. Playoffs. Only two good teams in these. <laughs> so I think the other really t other teams really don't matter. There's only two good teams in these. But who's watching this? I mean, you got fans going to the games. I'm not going, so you know. But you got they say they got fans going to the games, still supporting their teams. I mean, the Pistons is only a half a game back from the eighth and final spot. With a record of twenty one and twenty nine, come on, man! What what done happened to the NBA? What done what done happened? I mean, what happened to the East? <coughs> yeah, what done happened? And I went to the West. <laughs> they all want better. They all going to the better teams, and the better teams is either on the East is Miami, Indiana, or you going to the West. I mean, this. I mean, I just don't get this. You know. Here you go. Let me give you another one. The Knicks. Let me pull, pull this up again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think they're on the winning streak too, aren't they? Yeah, they uh, 20 and 30. They're a game <laughs> out of the eighth spot. Guess who number eight? Guess who in the eighth spot of the playoff in the Eastern Conference? Charlie. Exactly. Dang. Why At 22 not and 29. Why did I not know that? How can you be in the playoffs <laughs> with more losses than wins? That's, that's how bad the easy is. <laughs> okay, let's scroll over to the West. All top eight teams have room winning records. Even Memphis, that's twenty. They only uh, two games behind uh, Dallas. With 27 and 22. <coughs> I mean, it speaks for itself. The East is weak. It's very weak. Like you say, who is that? Miami? Miami, Indiana. And then Indiana. That's it. That's it. Miami's four games behind Indiana. And you know who's behind them in third? Chicago. Uh-uh. The Raptors. Toronto. Wow. Huh? Wow. Toronto. <laughs> he talk, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here go another shocker to you. Guess guess who else is in the playoffs? Philly. If it was to start today. Philly. The Wizards. The Wizards? The Wizards will be the fifth seed at 24 and 25 if the playoffs starts today. The Wizards. <laughs> So the Pistons wouldn't even if the playoffs are the Pistons wouldn't even be in it. Today. No, there'd be a um, there'd be a half a game. They'd uh, miss out by half a game. They tw they twenty one and twenty nine records. I ain't even gonna watch these playoffs this year. I'm gonna watch the West. Why? Why? I mean, why? I mean, the West is gonna be good. Why, why even watch the East? I mean, playoffs? are you gonna watch the uh, All Star game? Yeah. No. Do you watch the dunk contest? I am, yeah, but ain't nobody good. Uh, I think they, they got John George, Wall. They got Paul George. Yeah, Paul George. yeah John yeah. Wall, um, the boy from Toronto. Uh, what's his name? Parking oh, son. Oh, I can't think of his name. I might watch the dunk contest. I, I love the dunk contest. I love it. I love it. I might watch it. You know, that's I like that, and um, I really don't watch the game and the three point contest. You know, I, I like watching them too. Other than that, I can care less. I can, first of all, they're not going to play hard until the fourth quarter. There's going to be that's no defense. Of, that's, that's a lot of ad. There's going to be no defense. Exactly. There ain't going to be no defense. Just like the um, Pro Bowl. 
they ain't that even though this year they played a little harder, they was teams uh teammates hitting each other to pro bowl this but they set it up different yeah, when they draft. Right. So but no man, this this I you right, Miami. Damn. That's it. That's it. Milwaukee done only won nine games this year. Now, now Jeff Van Gundy, he's saying that the East is tanking. I he's, agree with him. He said that the East is tanking to get, get these, because this is supposed to be the best draft, you know, out of college this year. For long, you know, this is supposed to be the, the one, the, the, big, one, one. the yeah. big one, you know. So I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see what happens. When we come back after this commercial break, what we're going to do is talk about how we talking to each other. How would you like for your cars to talk to each other? I'll tell you more about that when we come back. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Sponsored by Wellcard Health. Wellcard Health is the premier medical discount program. It offers discounts on doctor, dental, and vision visits, prescriptions, pet medications, diabetic care, lab tests and imaging, and much more. Wellcard Health is accepted at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, and more. For more information, 800-285-5941 or www.consumerhealthresources.com. And yeah. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by Designs by T. Cole. Designs by T. Cole is a watch designed for you to carry your medication and reminds you to take it all in secrecy. For more information and updates, Facebook at Designs by T. Cole. That's the letter T, C, O, L, E. Detroit Sports Jersey is sponsored by MintSportsPro.com. If you're looking for a gift and happen to be a sports fan, MintSportsPro.com. They have the newest 3D laser crystal products and limited edition sports memorabilia. All of their products are officially licensed by the leagues. These guys literally use a laser to engrave your team inside their crystals. Available at mintsportspro.com. All products are lasered in the USA and are made by hand. Again, that's www.mintsportspro.com or 1-888-633-6474. You are listening to Detroit Sports Jersey live on WHPR 88.1 FM, Power Talk Live Radio. Live call in number 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Live streaming at FM 881 WHPR.com. Past shows are at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight Sports Talk, no professionals here. Now back to host Will and Mr. DC. All right, welcome back to Detroit Sports Jersey, 313-868-3688, live here every Sunday, 10 a.m., uh, 88.1 FM, D.C. Yeah. I'm your host, Will. Uh, all right, uh, D.C., yeah. <coughs> when you out there on the road driving, what's your biggest fear? Getting to an accident. Exactly, exactly. So now, here we go. From 2017, <laughs> they gonna have car to car communication. What this is? You asked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Asked. <laughs> it's the technology in which involves vehicles repeatedly sending wireless signals to each other. For instance, if let's say you're driving down Woodward here. Mm -hmm and somebody's about to blow through the stop sign, it's going to send a signal to your car that a car is coming, about to run this stop sign. I think that's a great idea. I take my hat off to that. I've seen a few commercials for that. And it can detect kind of threats cars. from 100 yards away, tell drivers if they can pass safely or make a left turn. That might be kind of good. Now, the... Um, Transportation Secretary, uh, the National Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration, THTSA, if they better know, so they're going to make a decision by this December 31st if all cars must install this in the future, you know, future te years. technology. Or whatever. I think it's a great idea. I think that's, I, that's I'm telling you right now, that, that is my biggest fear is like high speed chases. Right. You know what I'm saying? Clowns stealing 
car, running from the police, running stop signs, drunk drivers, right. running stop signs, hello? Running red lights. Hello? They said they had to cut down on 80% of the crashes. Detroit Sports Jersey, name and where you're calling from. Actually, actually, it was 43 to 8. No, 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 no. This score, this prediction, he predicted the score to be 48 to 20 Denver. Okay, I give you that right. <laughs> but give, will you explain something to me? How could you say this clown was the greatest quarterback of all time? <laughs> Okay, I give you that. I said I give you that. I'm giving you the parade. I'm giving you the hats and all. Huh? I'm confused. Who did I pick the one? No, no, you ain't confused. You ain't confused. But you said if if uh, Peyton Manning wins the last week's Super Bowl, he was the greatest Super Bowl of all time. It's no, 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 no. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Y'all need to rewind the tape. No, G Money, uh, you no. said it. Uh, no, 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 we got you. He's the greatest in the regular season of all time. <laughs> Playoff, he sucks. Yes, he does. No, whoa, whoa. He won it three in the Super Bowl. One and three in the Super Bowl, 11 and 12 in the playoffs. That don't suck. Okay, how many, take it up. How many quarterbacks do one more Super Bowl that he has? Oh, listen, you got Joe Montana, Montana, Terry Bradshaw, uh, Tom Brady. So we're talking about out of the thousands of quarterbacks that have been playing football in the history of football, only about six guys have got more rings than them. I think you have to rank them as one of the greatest. No, no. I'm not. I'm going to give you, here you, go, here you go. Here you go. He's 11 and 12 in the playoffs, right? Right. I'm, I, you, know, I, when I, you know who I'm going to you know, put my stats up. It's always going to be Joe. Let me tell you what Joe did, and I didn't go no further. His his playoff record is 16 and 7 with four Super Bowls. So how would he have won this game? Uh, Peyton Manning would have be, jumped over Joe. I'm confused as the greatest of all time. You heard it on ESPN. You heard it on First Take. Explain that. No, 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 you say what? You needed Montana a couple weeks ago when they played Seattle. You're right. I, I, I wanted to go up in the stands and grab Joe and suit him up. 16, come on back, baby. <laughs> oh, and another thing you said. Uh, you said Michigan was so great in basketball. Uh, every time I look at the paper, all week since you can get that statement, they've been losing. Well, well, I said they are playing, but I grant you that they're they a little loose, but they are playing good <laughs> basketball. Yeah, they, you open your mouth, they haven't won a game. <laughs> okay, they got spanked. <laughs> they, I mean, they did, they did get spanked last night, so it was bad. Hey, hey, Guru. Hey, hey, okay, since you're on college basketball, Guru, I know you done saw this. What you think about the Oklahoma boy pushing the fans? I didn't know about this. You know Marcus Smart? Yeah. Play for Oklahoma State. It was about 6.2 right. seconds left. Uh, you go check out the video. It's on ESPN. He, you know, he went up for a block shot, fell into the stands. And you can see by the way he jumped up that the good old boy called him the N-word and he pushed him. So now they're making a big deal. Go ahead. I'm confused. You should get on my man for calling them the N-word. You, you ignited something. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, you know what? Like I try to tell people, you know, I don't, I'm not condoning them. Play, players put their hands on fans. But you got to understand, man, when they running around, jumping in the blood, and flowing, and drilling, and it's going, you you know, you just can't say and do certain things. You, you don't get around. You know, like, for instance, like, 
Like that. You call me the exactly. You know. You know. That's why. That's why the the, um, the media has a rule not in the leagues to put a rule in that they're not allowed into the locker rooms right away after the game for they want the you know the players to calm down. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Get their thoughts together. You yeah, you may. As soon as you stick a microphone in there, of course they're gonna you know the reaction is gonna be nutty. I'll tell you, you know, and you know the funniest interview I ever seen when they did that with Charles Barkley, <laughs> right? As soon as the game, soon it was like uh, he he had uh, had a fight with Bill Lambeer, and uh, right after the game they shoved the mic in uh, Barkley's face, and then he, they was like, yeah, uh, Barkley. Bill Lambeer said that was a dark day in Detroit. <laughs> Barkley said, well, tell him to turn the damn lights on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that was a sorry Super Bowl. Why are you even calling in with that? That was a sorry game. Why are you even calling in with that? That's a rasp. I'm about to get a restraining order on you. <laughs> yeah, you call. You got the nerve. You want to talk about that game? That was, was that was the greatest defensive play ever in the history of the Super Bowl. Hey, now the score. Let me ask you a question. Now this one guy gonna tell me the score was forty three to eight, right? Right. Seattle scored six different ways. <laughs> this clown gonna tell me that that wasn't no blowout. <laughs> So what was it? it was the third largest uh, margin of victory into the Super Bowl. Hey, because they don't have no 40-point play. <laughs> oh, hey, check it out. A blowout is anything in double digits. Exactly. It's, 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 anything in double digits, it's a blowout. Exactly. I keep it real. And I, I should say 14 points. If you lose about 10, they ain't really blow up. But 14 or better, you have to blow up. Two touchdowns to blow up, I'm sorry. Especially in the Super Bowl, gee, that's a blowout. Right. You know, I don't know what game he was watching. You know. Right, and you were down 29 to nothing at one point. Down 29 to nothing. No, 12 man. seconds into the game, it was over. It was two zip, 12 seconds. They didn't look back. They didn't look back after they scored them two. Uh, uh, Broncos never had the lead. Never. You know what? That's what my man said for uh, the linebackers of Seattle. Yeah. He said that uh, when they got the safety. It was a wrap, man. And they said uh, uh, Denver said it was he was he was scared. That was a a a, a Debacle. Your boy, you take it out. Your eighth best defense that you was bragging about this time last week. All them tackles, David. Tackles. Oh, eighth defense. You was bragging about this team. Dog, listen here. Listen, listen to this real fast before we get off the air. <laughs> they scored with a safety. They scored with a field goal. They scored with a one yard run. They scored with an interception. They scored with an 87-yard kickoff. They scored with a passing TD. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, passing TV. That y'all made six tackles combined. You know, so it don't matter, dog. The game was out of reach anyway. Uh, yeah, when it went to zip, the game was over. Tell me what was the threat. Hey, you know what? Something else too. They didn't have to because Seattle was on the field the and whole I time. I, mean, I tell you something else too. Denver got away with too. They lucky after that safety. When see, I mean Denver, I mean Seattle came and kicked two field goals. I'm like, they lucky they didn't turn them two field goals in a touchdown. Now we talking fifty something to eight. <laughs> yeah. Hello, all right, Guru. We about to get off air. We appreciate you calling in. All right, yeah, I gotta get to work, man. All right, all right, later. All right, yeah. well, all right, DC. Final words before we get up out of here. <laughs> See y'all next week. <laughs> all right, all right. We're going to get up out of here. I'm your host, Will. Sitting up here with DC. We got Hand Dog on the wheels of steel. The voice over there eating our yogurt. We'll see you next Sunday. We up out of here. <laughs>
thank you for joining us on Detroit Sports Jersey with your host Will and co-host Mr. DC. Coming to you live on 88.1 WHPR every Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Live call-in numbers 313-868-3688 or 313-868-0331. Also with live streaming at FM881WHPR.com. See our past shows at DetroitSportsJersey.com. Straight sports talk. No professionals here. See you next week. FM 81